In this short video I would like to show you how to remove the lock screen from Windows 8 and also if you so desire to um, remove the need to log in to Windows 8 if you know you're the only one using your desktop computer for example. Now the lock screen which you can see here in, in my VM player which is uh, running Windows 8 um, the lock screen really is is again for like uh, either phones or um, maybe tablets. You don't really need to use it on a desktop computer. So the idea is really to speed things up and to make things easier for your desktop computer by uh, removing that altogether. And how do you do this? Well, the way we do that is first of all let's log in anyway into our desktop here and um, we'll go down to where the start menu in, oh, start menu is and we'll right click to get up the run box. Now in the run box we'll type in gpedit.msc hit return and it eventually comes up. Now, where we want to navigate to, oops, sorry, I'm just trying to increase that spell. Right, so we want to go down into administrative templates, control panel, personalization, and you'll see here there's an option here that says do not display the lock screen. It's not configured and there's no comment on it. If we go into that, basically tells you description about it there and if we then go into edit policy setting you can see we can actually click um, enabled now it's a bit confusing because it's you're saying do not display this the lock screen enabled so what that means is you're, you're enabling not to display the lock screen. If you see what I'm saying, it's a bit confusing. So if we just click that, okay, come out of there. Um, and now if we just uh, reboot the machine, let's just get this down to a bit of a smaller box again. So if we uh, go to the charms menu and restart the virtual machine, when it reboots now, hopefully, we'll, we will be bypassing the lock screen. So I'll just pause this video while this reboots. And there you go, you can see we've bypassed the lock screen. However, we still have to type in our password. Let me get up. We still have to type in our password to get in. And I said on a desktop computer, um, sometimes you might not need that, that's, that's an additional step again which you may not need. So, so as a second step, how would we accomplish that? Well, in order to do this, we go to the desktop. Again, we go down here and get the run box up, useful box that. This time we type in netplwiz and just hit return and then we get this user accounts box come up now you can see at the moment this box is checked to say users must enter a username and password so if we just uncheck that box uh, you can see there's only one user to um, choose from here so it's highlighted that anyway if there was if there was more than one here you could choose a user that would log in automatically on this computer and now if I just click OK there, you'll see that it asks me for my password so that it knows um, what to log in as. Hit OK and that's done. So again now if I just decrease the size of that VM window and again come down 
settings power restart and hopefully this time as well as bypassing the lock screen we'll also bypass the logging in with the username and password so again I'll just pause this video and wait for the VM to reboot okay so the VM is just on its way up previously we bypassed the lock screen this time with a bit of luck we'll bypass both the lock screen and actually logging in there you go you still get that come up but you see you get the welcome there it's not asking me for a password so I'm going to be logging in automatically in a few moments hopefully there you go so that's two ways one way of passing uh, bypassing the lock screen and the second way of bypassing the login screen just as an aside if you wanted to log in automatically like I have here you uh, do not need to go through the uh, first process of, uh, of disabling the, the lock screen just by setting the um, automatic user logon uh, you also bypass the lock screen uh, by default so there you go, I hope that's given you uh, an idea of um, what to do it's also maybe interesting just to mention uh, about VMware and uh, just how good it is to use to uh, test things out as you can see here I've got Windows 8 running within Windows 8 which is pretty cool um, ok I hope that video has been useful um, any comments please feel free and uh, please please view my other videos as well thanks